Hey guys, welcome to the night war of season 21 and yeah que Novi is facing ISO 8A on this uh, war um, we haven't faced them on this entire season uh, somehow they start like in tier 2 or tier 3 I believe so uh, there were no chance to get them anyway we face them right now so uh, on the first fight I had to fight uh, this silver surfer I didn't have any problem that's why I'm um, increasing the, the the velocity on this fight anyway uh, on all quake fights because it's the same thing okay it's just evade quake evade quake evade quake so anyway let's go to the second fight uh, this second fight you have to be really really uh, care really really careful because as you can see at the start of the fight she nullified my armor up so what I do is always always when her no when the note renews again um i try to dex before my armor up is going to activate that way when i dex it gets nullified and my armor up stays there that way she's not going to um, nullify more uh, buffs that i activate on the fight and it gets easier that's uh, maybe a, a thing you can do and it makes that fight really really easy i ended up using only two special tools and she died really really fast uh, even when she's a rank 3 champion okay um yeah on the second section on lane 7 yeah uh, i had to face this um, weapon x this weapon x he can be a, a problem if using a different champ, but not Warlock, okay? Warlock does this fight really, really easy, especially on this note. On this note, I think, in my opinion, it's just a waste of note uh, to put Weapon X. Honestly, I, I think I, you, can, you can put this Weapon X on a different note and can be a problem. But on this note, it took like less than 30 seconds and he died really easy there's no comments on this uh, it's just warlock warlock is a god <laughs> and on this fight on the second fight on this lane 7 again it was just a waste of note because since human torch is not a defensive champ is not a stubborn champ uh, i can entirely evade with quake that means uh, the note here is is just useless because these nodes the way it interacts is that uh, every time you block a hit he's going to gain power so since i don't have to block with quake since he's not a stubborn it's just a waste of fight of fight it's an easy note that's i was like okay thank you <laughs> thank you iso 8 it was a really easy fight for me and yeah on this sasquatch fight guys on mini boss uh, I fucked up at the start. I trigger my dexterity. That way he got the indestructible buff. Cause yeah, uh, Sasquatch is a stubborn champ. So that uh, made me lose a lot, a lot of time because uh, I didn't do, I didn't deal any damage at the start of the fight. And yeah, that's when using Quake, uh, the most damage you deal is at the start until you get corner. Because when you get corner, there's um, it's harder to build your uh, earthquake uh, cherishes. Uh, that way, uh, the concussion is when it activates. Depending on the cherishes you made on the opponent, it's the damage you are gonna deal to to him. Okay, so that's why it took a lot of time uh, to take down this Sasquatch. I didn't die, but I lost a lot of HP. I was like, holy shit! I almost died. Eh? Oh, I almost died. <laughs> anyway, um, I had to fight again this boss uh, note. The second fight, I am the second time I'm going to do this fight. And this time I boost uh, a bit lower than before and I also didn't activate the uh, Assassin's Mastery. I, uh, this time uh, it came to my, mind, to my mind like, okay, Pepe, don't fuck up <laughs> this time. And yeah, I didn't, I didn't activate those masteries that really doesn't benefit uh, Void. And this time on this fight, uh, 
somehow this thing boss was really aggressive when throwing specials as you as you saw there uh, he didn't get uh, his uh, he tr he threw his special when i was trying to bait him to not do it uh, and he did again and i got hit right there but i did it on purpose that way he were going to gain more power when attacking me but he didn't get his special one anyway he wasn't too aggressive he went passive somehow i was a bit lucky there and i could uh, attack him uh, while blocking so he could get his special one and throw his special right there he again used his special one and i was like oh man come on this this is how it's going to be the entire fight I'm going to die or I'm going to time out. I was like, okay. And right there, did you see? He was too aggressive, so aggressive that I was like almost corner in, in my wall. And I was like, oh my God. But somehow he went passive again two times in a row. And yeah, he got his special one. And after those silly mistakes I, I made, I probably, yeah, it's probably a mistake. But uh, yeah, the... RNG to be honest uh, he was being too aggressive that uh, I couldn't manage the fight uh, the way I wanted uh, but anyway after those those uh, after that rough uh, start um, yeah things went really good uh, the, the boss behaved really really well be after that uh, um, yeah uh, right now he's throwing specials when I want he's uh, letting me hit whenever I want um, even if I'm evading too much because as you can see I have only got them got him to five destructible church because I have evaded a lot uh, this time and yeah anyway uh, right now he's he's behaving really good with me and he's almost getting into the assassins master okay but since i didn't activate them you're gonna see how easily it is and that's why i'm telling you guys if you don't do that uh, do it and i fucked up right here but i was lucky he didn't throw his special too okay i was very very lucky he went uh, defensive and I attacked him while he was blocking and he got his church. And yeah, anyway, uh, as you can see, every time I, I'm using a hit on him, he's gaining one church. Okay, that way you can control the fight really, really easy. More, more easy than, than the last fight. And look at that. Look, really, really easy. It took, it took like 3 minutes and 30 seconds to kill. But because at the start of the fight, he, it was going really, really bad, to be honest. Uh, he's, he wasn't behaving really good at the start. But anyway, I managed to kill him without dying. And yeah, guys, at the end of the day, we ended up dying only three times. It was by far our best war of this season. Um, the best war before this was like four deaths versus ASR, and yeah, uh, we're we're preparing ourselves to face that cheating alliance. You guys know way, <laughs> and yeah, uh, it was a really good war for us. We ended up beating ISO eight really really easy. Uh, they died like. How many times? 18 times. And yeah, uh, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you in the next war. Goodbye.